Here's the latest on Hurricane Ida. Now the radar really starting to pick up the well-defined eye over the Gulf of Mexico and the rain bands already making their way inland across southeastern Louisiana. The center of the storm is about 145 miles to the south southeast of the mouth of the Mississippi River, so it's not all that far from land. Hurricane warnings in effect. New Orleans back westward along the Louisiana coast where that's the best bet for landfall sometime either tomorrow afternoon or tomorrow evening. Look at the water temperatures here in the mid and upper 80s. So the storm expected to feed off this warm water and rapidly intensify, potentially reaching a category four status at the very least to cat three, which makes it a major hurricane. Winds right now 105 miles an hour. Those are the maximum sustained winds, which makes it officially a category two storm. But you can see it is really well defined here. A very organized storm system moving to the northwest at a pretty good clip, 16 miles an hour. And here's tomorrow morning, 130 mile an hour winds forecast and potentially again a category four as it makes landfall most likely just west of New Orleans, which is not good news for them because the east side of the storm produces the uh, strongest surge. So this is going to be a major event for southeastern Louisiana. Once it moves inland, it's going to weaken rapidly, but be a significant rainmaker for parts of the Gulf Coast up into the Tennessee Valley. And eventually notice what's left of the storm comes into West Virginia here during the day on Wednesday. Moisture will ride over the Blue Ridge into our neighborhood and produce some decent rainfall here.